subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. And while we talking about Pimp C stories, I'm going to give you another one, too. Shout out to Short Dogs. You know, we fuck with Short yeah. Dogs. You know what I'm saying? I, after we mastered this UGK album, man, it's five in the morning. We leaving from Burbank, headed back to, to Hollywood. And uh, I asked C, I said, C, bro, man, why you riding on Short? Why, why you, you know what I'm saying? Because we just mastered the album, man. He did his pimp. I mean, he did, he did short, short dog on the, on the intro. Yeah. It was a, it was a. He was like, bro, too short, my OG. You know, Russell Simmons and them. They, you know, they don't realize what short dog is to us and to the, you know, to the, like that's disrespect. He felt like that was disrespect, but he went off on me about rap, and it's crazy about hmm. rap. Hey, you like, man, that nigga ain't your pot. Hey, man, if he really your partner, mine, it's five in the morning. Short little in Atlanta, it's five in the morning. Hey man, <clears throat> if he your partner, man, call that nigga right now. And if I'm a fly, I'm here and I'm gonna end this shit. But I'm not changing my verse on this album. I'm gonna let him know I'm not changing this motherfucker. I gotta tell him to his face why I'm not and everything. Man, short answered the phone. That nigga pimp snatched the phone out my hand, bro. He driving, bro. Nigga, you all, 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 all. you know, nigga, too short, my OG. Nigga, I wash his white walls right now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you can't, you feel me? Hey, dude, facts. Hey, he said, hey man, but you know what? You answered the phone. I really was telling B though about how, ho how these whole ass rap niggas is. You know what I'm saying? But hey man, how fast you can get to the airport? I'm finna fly you here and I'm gonna do a song with you. He did a song with him. Mm -hmm. And we ended up, I ended up flying out before Short got in. But uh, they ended up recording that Juicy J shit. I actually showed you a picture from those sessions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, but yeah. You know what I mean? If I fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, sure, at the time, like, shit, he was one of the only ones in the city that had a real deal at the time. Mm -hmm. And I was rocking with him. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I knew I could end it. You know what I'm saying? So I was able to do that before he got up out of here. And I know Short appreciated that. You know what I'm saying? Cause that shit was had it was static, bro. Like he wanted to go at C for real. And I'm like, bro, that ain't what you want to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What were y'all around when they did the international players? For that session? We was around, yeah. but I did not go I wasn't in that session. I didn't even go to the video. We was at uh by the time they did that record, but when they ended up doing the game belonged to me, we would we at this point we would see Pretty when much I heard every international day. players the first time. It was three six. It was three on. six mafia mm -hmm. on there with them. Yeah, that bitch was hard. Too. That was the first version I heard. Of right, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, our old manager Rick Martin ended up having a lot to do with that play. He actually, if I'm not mistaken, uh, he was the one that mentioned and to to get to put that outcast play together. And the rest just history. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, What's, and C always yeah. wanted to like I'm gonna be. If I'm gonna be the poster boy for the pimps, I got to have all the peas and rhyme. So they all showed up and showed out for the video. Mm. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.